The search for the elixir of youth starts inside the cell. Here, rogue elements cause most of the damage that we call aging. If we could reduce this damage, we might slow the seemingly inevitable decline to old age. The human body is made up from 100 million, million, million different cells. Some are manufactured continuously. 170 billion red cells form daily to carry oxygen. Ten billion white cells form to fight disease. Others, like the cells of the nose and ear, renew themselves so vigorously they just keep on growing all life long. But eventually, something goes wrong. Our cells start to fail. Our skin wrinkles. Our hair grays and eyesight fades. Is there anything we can do to turn back the clock? Months of growth hormone. It helps build muscle and repair tissues. At about the age of 25, levels peak, then start to drop off. By the time we reach old age, our bodies are producing very little. Heath is transformed into life-giving energy. But not all. Some oxygen degrades into particles called free radicals. Released, free radicals can damage any part of any cell in the body. Worst of all, they strike at the genes at the heart of every cell. Forensic pathologist Dick Shepard sees the signs of oxygen and free radical damage almost every working day. We see damage caused by oxygen in almost every body that we examine. It's present at a cellular level, but we see it with the naked eye in the brain and the heart and the lungs. The lungs are the first point at which the atmospheric oxygen reaches into the body. Passes through tiny little spaces that are lined by single layers of cells into the bloodstream. But of course these cells, although they are there to transport the oxygen are also particularly vulnerable. Now this is normal lung, smooth surface, big blood vessel running down the middle of it. There are no holes, there are no abnormalities. A lifetime of exposure to pollutants like smoking will change that. Tobacco smoke dramatically increases the production of free radicals in the body leading to cancer and other lung disorders. In this lung, the damage is obvious. The damage done by free radicals can also be seen in other organs. Cardiovascular disease, that's the disease of the heart and the blood vessels, is the number one killer throughout the world. As it circulates, blood carries oxygen and free radicals round the body. Over time, they can damage artery walls. Combined with cholesterol, this leads to furring up of important blood vessels. This is the inside of the aorta, the biggest blood vessel of the body. A thin, smooth tube, a perfect vessel for the transport of blood. And this is what an aorta that's got severe fatty deposits looks like. The fat has been affected by the oxidation and formed this rancid butter, which had caused weakening of the wall. The fatty deposition starts in our 20s, but it may be 40 years or so until the effects become obvious to the individual. The brain is about 2% of the weight of the human body, but consumes about 20% of the oxygen. And we're all worried about the effects of dementia as we get older. And we do know that the brain cells are particularly susceptible to the toxic effects of oxygen. A young brain glows with huge numbers of mitochondria. But as time goes by, 
the free radicals produced by the enormous energy demands of the brain begin to kill the mitochondria. One by one, the batteries fail. And so does our brain. Memory becomes impaired, and thinking becomes confused. Old brains show extensive signs of free radical damage. Normal brains have a healthy dark line of these specialist cells. But in the brain on the right, the dark cells are no longer visible. They have been destroyed by the products of oxygen. Given that we know the effects of oxygen, it's not a surprise that we age or we grow old. What is surprising, though, is that we actually live so long and remain so healthy. When you rush around, the more oxygen you need, and the more free radicals you produce. If free radicals are the main reason why we age, then perhaps we should be looking at ways to reduce the amount we produce. That's because fruit and vegetables are the best source of vitamins like A, C and E. These are so-called antioxidants, they help soak up free radicals, but fruit and veg alone will not greatly extend life. The body does manufacture its own natural antioxidants. These molecules float around inside each cell, neutralizing any free radicals they meet. Nonetheless, some free radicals elude capture. Well, we have defenses against free radicals which are produced. These defenses are imperfect, but they exist. Over the years, the free radicals that escape overwhelm our defenses and slowly and inevitably cause massive wear and tear to our cells. And it is this accumulative wear and tear that most experts now say is the main cause of aging.